What is going on guys and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. I just actually booted up our rig here. I had to power down for about a half hour. I did a HiveOS upgrade uh, as well as connected a Molex connector that I completely overlooked and found in doing some research here. So I wanted to give you guys a quick heads up and then we'll talk about our 970s. So on this board, this is the ASUS uh, B250 mining board. You can see here, sorry about the lighting. You see the Molex connection here, Molex connection there, and one right here. So we have 19 slots total. Well, each of these has a grouping here of um, PCIe slots. And you actually, per the uh, manual, which I was just reading, need to go ahead and provide additional power to the motherboard for each set of these. So every six, so there's six, six, and six, and then there's also the uh, full onboard one. You need to go ahead and provide actually Molex power to it. So that was something I entirely overlooked as a naive and new miner. So we went ahead and plugged that directly in here. And apparently this is supposed to give additional power to the PCIe adapter cards. I haven't seen any issues with my setup without running it, but better safe than sorry. In the last video, we talked about the fans. They've been doing awesome. These fans are putting out so much air. I've been super, super happy with them. Uh, if we take a look at our screen here, we are running at 82 mega hash, um, and we're currently running our 470s as well as our 570s, uh, right around 13, high 13s, sometimes 14, based off of uh, how things are running. As you can see up top here, there we go. 470, 570, and then a bunch of 470s. We did actually just buy today another 470. So I'm gonna be getting that in and replacing my 570 as the 570s do run more efficiently. They uh, less power to get the amount of uh, mega hash that we're looking for. Uh, but we'll do a future video on this uh, and we'll talk about some of our future cards that are on the way. So today we're gonna to go ahead and talk more about our 970s. Where are they? What happened to them? What's the deal? Well, let's go ahead and talk about it. Alrighty guys, so let's go ahead and talk about our 970s. So we originally bought our 970s guys um, about a month ago, a little bit more actually. And I wanted to go ahead and review them. So this is actually the original listing on Offers Up. Um, that's where I buy a lot of my cards. The same thing with Facebook Marketplace. Uh, they come and go very quickly. And so I find these uh, the system with OfferUp has the same thing with Facebook Marketplace. Great for buying cards, but you got to be checking multiple times a day and putting in filters in order to find stuff quickly. So if you want to know where I've been getting my cards, these are exactly where I've been getting them. So I bought this. This is the um, MSI NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970 4 gigabyte card a month ago. This was my first card that I bought. It was $130, okay? That was like a little bit into the GPU takeoff, I'd say, over the last uh, few weeks here. And I didn't know what I would get. I mean, I bought this card literally before I even had a mining setup ready to go. And uh, then the second one we got, which was this guy, which was the uh, same thing. MSI NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970, but this was the OC, the overclocked version. Uh, it actually, if you're getting down to the model level, is the uh, 4G D5T. And pretty much at the end of the day for mining, super, super much, like they were the same at the end of the day. So I used this guy originally when I didn't have any cards and I got my mining rig set up and I went ahead and got it set up and we started to mine Ravencoin on it. <clears throat> excuse me and uh we were getting before overclocking like four to five mega hash on ravencoin and it was super disappointing and i really didn't know what i was getting into and i was still young <laughs> infancy of mining now granted i've only been mining for over a month now so i can't really speak to longevity but it was the first few weeks same thing with this guy so would I recommend these cards for mining? Absolutely not. Unless you have them readily available. So I learned my lesson and I resold them. But let's talk about the value add here. So our 970, the black and red one here, the original one, 
Uh, it's got like the dragon whatever version um, model it is. I resold it a month later. So I bought it for 130. Here is my listing here. By the way, my name's not actually Mark. It's just a fake name that I use on offers up. I resold it a, a month later for 225. So I made a profit of $95 in one month. Not bad. Not bad at all. By the way, my pictures are much better than the ones they used. Pictures are everything when you're reselling guys online. So not bad. $95 was going to make more there than mining. Okay. This guy, which was the OC version, which didn't really make a big deal when it came down to mining. Uh, I resold at the exact same time to someone else a month later. It was originally $150. Here's my listing. Uh, went ahead and resold it. And resold it for $250. So I made $100 profit off of this card. So I bought these cards, resold them four weeks later, and made a profit of $195. Well, I took that money and repurposed it and bought an additional card after that. Um, so in the next upcoming video, I am going to go ahead and discuss uh, the card that I ended up buying actually, and where I took the profits and proceeds from the 970s. And I went ahead and purchased a new card. What, should you guys go ahead and buy 970s for mining right now? Absolutely not. Because I've been finding deals on 470s and 570s that are operating sub $200 that are getting significantly higher hash rates especially for Ravencoin. So I would highly recommend not getting the MSI, MSI 970s at all for mining unless you have them available. Like unless you like literally find some crazy deal on a bunch of them um, or you have them sitting around from a gaming rig and you want to put them to use. Other than that, I do not recommend them at all. And hey, I bought them and resold them and made a great profit on it. Other than that, guys, I appreciate you guys checking out the video today. Do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow in the next video.